An ongoing trade dispute and excessive supplies keep dampening soybean prices for farmers across the Midwest. But engineers at Iowa State University are now paving the way to increase demand, finding a new way to use the crop in asphalt. We already have one row crop playing a major role in our transportation with 95% of ethanol produced from corn. But now a new product will be on the roadways, literally. Engineers at ISU have found a way to use soybean oil in the polymers or glue that holds asphalt interstates and highways together rather than petroleum. It's, it's cost effective, it's bio-based, um, it's something that we produce here in Iowa. Um, it improves performance and you know it's promotes it promotes environmental stewardship not only because it's bio-based but you're also being able being able to use more recycled content this new type of asphalt is win-win for both industries. It helps farmers, but asphalt is also struggling with a shortage of the organic compounds for petroleum-based polymers. Engineers say research proves this asphalt is more durable, and with the soy-based polymer, you can recycle more asphalt without lowering the quality of the product. Plus, it's cheaper to use. Professor Chris Williams says he grows some soybeans on his family farm as well, and seeing just how how close we are to using this soybean oil on roads all across the nation is exciting for our state. To be able to see what happens with what you do in your personal private life and how that can transfer into helping society where it becomes something that's grown in Iowa, produced and used in Iowa, and if this uh, economy develops more, we can be an exporter, job creation. At the Iowa State's research farm, there is a $5.3 million biopolymer processing facility, so the new asphalt could not only be grown in Iowa, but made in the state as well.